All right, what is going on guys? My name is James or Jeopardy Games coming back at you with a brand new video on the channel today. We're doing something very different and very exciting in the start of something new on the channel. So this is the start of a series where I will be playing through each of the Pokemon games that I have yet to play through. So as you guys know, in the streams, if you've been watching, I've been doing some Nuzlocke challenge. You can check those out live. When I'm streaming, that would make the most sense when they're live, wouldn't it? Yep, okay. But I stream Pokemon challenges here and there in mix with other stuff on my channel. But as you guys, if you know from the live streams, I kind of missed a chunk of the Pokemon era. I played from Ruby and Sapphire through Platinum. There it was. Played through those games. Know those games, love those games. And then... Just gens 5 through 7, never played. So, in any games that came in that time frame from what would have been like 2009 to 2017, 18, somewhere in there, roughly. So basically, full list of the games that I never played. Black and white. Black 2, white 2. Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, XY, Sun Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I think that's all of them but i never played those and i want to start doing challenges on them eventually and i don't want to do playthroughs on my live streams because i think they would just take too long and challenges are way more exciting to stream so i figured this is a good way to have more content on the channel play some games that i never got to play and have a fun time with it and you guys get to watch my experiences rather than me just kind of doing it in my free time off stream so i figured this was a good kind of in between streaming and just playing it offline with no recording at all. So that's what this is. It's a very long-winded intro to say that over the next weeks and months through uploads, I will be playing through all of those games that I listed off, starting off with Omega Ruby. And that seems really strange considering I talked about and continue to talk about how much I have played Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, and how many times I've played through it, how much I love the generation. But this seemed like something familiar enough that I know how to get through it and would be a good kind of trial run for this style of content where this is where I can work out the kinks and focus more on my commentary, my video making, my editing, rather than the actual just the gameplay itself and being like, wow, I never saw that coming because I know what happens in this game. I I've played through it a million times. There's few tweaks because it is uh, the remake, but I hope that that three minute thing explain everything and i'll probably just have a time step at the beginning it says skip to here if you just want to see me playing this stupid game so i'm going to stop talking about what this is and start playing the game now we will start now and i have gotten us and done the liberty of kind of cutting out the very very beginning of the game where you have to ride in the truck and do your name but uh yeah so i have yet to even set the clock and i was really afraid i was going to forget this when i was setting this up yesterday but we got to set the time. I guess I'll do the actual time. I don't know how much this is really going to matter. Oh, no, it just automatically. Well, now you guys know what time it is, where I am when I'm recording this. Well, I like my new room. Everything's put away neatly. Yes, great. Thank you very much. And I stand by it. The beginning of these games is, is not overly exciting. Is there a potion or anything? Can I steal someone else's potion? But I'll get through this and we'll just kind of play for a bit and eventually we'll we'll cut it up into pieces and you guys can watch along. So our dad is on TV. My man's famous. And we never get to see it. Oh well. What a shame. Let's go find our man, Professor Birch. But I gotta say, I, I already love just the style of this game. The 3D looks so good, having not played this before. Let's go barge into strangers' houses. Probably one of the weirdest concepts in all of this entire series. It's just, you can barge in wherever. Like, imagine just a kid just moved to your town, and he just shows up in your bedroom, like, un unannounced. Unannounced, just, here I am, in your bedroom, staring at you. You don't know I'm here. That out of context is going to be really bad, but just so weird. I also love the plugs for, for everything. Just like the Wii, the N64, 
the DS at this point would have been like the Wii U and stuff. Yes, I'm May. Nice to meet you, May. All right. Yep. Great. Great. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's how the first 20 minutes of all of these games go. It's just a lot of. Yep. Can we steal from her? No, she doesn't have a PC. What do we got? The Wii U. Yeah, they told you. I knew it. I call it. And I'm, I'm going to be glancing over here from time to time because I'm so used to streaming where chat is right there. So if I just look off into space for a second and I'm not staring right at the game, I apologize. Uh, Let's go. Uh, let's go see if our boy is doing okay. No, he's screaming up ahead. Bad news. Y'all will recognize this theme if you've watched the sound quiz, by the way. So upper right hand corner, if you haven't checked that out after this video. My man's just getting wrecked by a Poochie, and I think we just... I think we'll just let him be. <laughs> oh, it, it makes us come back and get him. Okay. Well, we get to, uh... We get to choose. Make a very important choice in this generation. I mean, look at how good this looks, too. Granted, I am playing this on a, a super-powered DS with an... R, a, a, the GTX 1070 Ti, I believe, so that probably helps the graphics a little bit, but you know, our DS is just built different, so. Now we have to make a choice, and if you are just watching these, you haven't watched my content before, welcome, first of all, uh, but there is a very obvious choice here, and that is our boy Mudkip, also known as Muddrip, a legend from previous playthroughs. There's not a doubt in my mind that he was going to be our starter. Gotta do it to him. He's a legend on the channel. Gotta have our boy Mud Drip. This game does love... You know, our, our DS lags from time to time. You know, it's an old DS, so... It does take a little bit of getting used to. So if, if this is, like, cut in places where it just lagged out, just know that that's probably what happened. We also get Water Gun right off the bat, which having a stab move at level 5, kind of busted... But I think you normally get Water Gun at level 6. Or something like that. Maybe you get Mud Slap. I don't know. It's been all of a couple months since I've played through this game last. But that's apparently enough time for it to just... Leave my memory. My man is a professor of Pokemon and got jumped by a Poochiana. I am Norman's boy, yes. Cool. Good old Pokemon Lab theme. Absolute banger. My man's got a more complicated setup in, in this remake than he did in the original. Do I get to name? I have to be able to. Oh. Oh, you already... You guys already know. You guys already know. Mud. Now I need to check of how we spelt this the first time around, because this... This is vital. Okay, two Ds. It's two Ds for our boy Mud Drip, so let's get that, that second one going. I want to make sure this is as accurate as possible. Our boy Mud Drip is ready to go. Let's go to Route 103. Sure, we'll 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 fight your your daughter, May. That's that seems chill. Alright, and then basically once we fight May, we can actually get into stuff. Until then, it's still pretty low-key. But, I don't really think we need to train. And I don't know if the encounters are really any different than they would be normally, so... I don't think there's anyone we want to add to the team just yet. I have a rough idea of of the team in my head but I'm not entirely convinced yet our dude the guy who's gonna show us around let's see it let's see it there it is in all of its glory the Pokemart is that it that's yep okay just just potions okay and to clarify 
those of you coming thinking this might be similar to the Nuzlocke's, my plan for right now is we are going to use in battle items. It just seems tedious to not use in battle items. The one limit I really will put on this challenge to make it more difficult is I want to keep everything at a certain level cap. So what we will do is similar to the Nuzlocke's, we'll have, we will not use any Pokemon that are a greater level than the highest level of the next gym leader. So if that makes any sense. So as of right now, we won't level up our Pokemon higher than I think it's 14 for Roxanne is the first gym. None of our Pokemon will exceed level 14. If they do, we cannot use them in that gym battle. That's how that's going to work. Then once we beat Roxanne, it'll be, I think, 17 for Brawly, so on and so forth, up until Steven. We'll group the Elite Four as one big thing, so it'll just be like Steven's max level, which I think is 58, unless they've changed the level caps. I don't really know. But that all is irrelevant for now. Let's just fight May. Probably gonna have Trico, so. Found this Pokemon, and this one, and this one, there's like what? Mightyana? Or no, Poochiana, maybe Zigzagoon, and maybe a Wormpole. What do you got, May? You got Trico, okay. So that's... I have to figure this is going to be 95% similar to the original game, so... Does that mean you're going to have Absorb and just run through me? Hopefully not. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're, we're, we should be in a good position unless we get a critical hit somehow. Should be fine. Found, easy, tackle, gone. Just like that, Trico. Peace out, dog. You're gone. At least for now. At least for now. But quickly going back to the whole point about the level cap, it will only be based on the gym leader. So when we have like a, a rival battle, so if we have to fight Mei before Mauville, I am only going to ab abide by the Mauville level cap. I'm not going to worry about what level Mei's Pokemon are. It's traditionally a pretty difficult battle, so might as well take advantage of that a little bit. But just run on home to good old Little Root Town. And pretty much are ready to go on our adventure at that point. I think that's the last real guided part of the game. Once we get back. So. I'll have to think. I, I don't even know that for this whole first episode. I figure I'll do these recordings in like. Maybe an hour-ish chunk at a time. If that gives us enough material. If not. And then even within each recording I'll probably cut it up into a couple of episodes. But this man's oh yeah i ordered this really cool piece of technology for my uh for my research just just take it it's fine it's good you can just have it just gave you a pokemon and a pokedex just giving stuff away great just like you pokeballs perfect but like i was saying before i don't know if we'll really catch anything before the first gym I feel like we got to just for the sake of content. We'll probably catch a, a Talo. I think that's my plan. I even have to say goodbye to my mom. Nope. We can just leave home forever without even saying goodbye. That's cool. All right. See ya. Just We're just dipping. I j Are you kidding me? I just talked to you, lady. I just talked to you. <laughs> what was that? Just a little like... Like... Have fun. Would be too emotional. Bruh, just let me get on with it. Just let me get on with it. Pokenav plus. Dexnav. So it tells us about Pokemon living in each area? Okay. Is that what this little Pikachu tab at the bottom is? 
yeah, nothing we want. Nothing we want here. I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to breeze right on through. I say, last thing I got to do before... Are you going to... Okay. That thing knows some pretty rare moves. No, it's... Okay. The circle pad. Yep. Definitely pressing my circle pad. Yep. I can't press on it at different pressures, so... Snuck up on it. Got him. There we go. We got a Poochiena. I don't want this. So I just... We're just going to knock it out. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I'm supposed to catch it, but... I'm just going to say adios to this thing real quick. You know... Oh, no, that's... Yeah, no, for sure. That... Hold up. So maybe this is worth catching. Hold, hold, let's, 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 let's hold on. Let's hold the phone for a second here. Let's hold the phone for just a second. Fire Fang Poochiana. That's not bad. That's not bad. Three. All right. As I say, we probably won't catch anything in the first episode. Okay, I didn't know it was going to know Fire Fang, all right? We also just get the advantage of having really, really favored XP everything. So you have the EXP share all the time. You get EXP for catching Pokemon. So leveling up is going to be way better in this game. I'm not usually clever with names, so I'm just going to... I'm trying to think, what are the... Is it Dire Wolf? I don't know if the Dire Wolves have names from Game of Thrones. I've never seen Game of Thrones. I just know that's what they're from, so. I did it. There we go. Amazing. Thank you. That's it. Can I finally move on? Unhindered by every single person in this game trying to tell me how to play this game. Also, I apologize if you can hear the, the uh, keyboard clicking. I think I'm bumping my keyboard as I'm playing the DS. That's definitely what it is. So, uh, if you hear that, I apologize. Uh, it is... Might be a recurring sound. If not, I can always... Uh, find a way to plug in a controller to my 3DS. So, maybe we'll do that. Eventually down the line, if it makes too much noise doing it this way. Uh, let's see what your moveset is. I gotta get used to my 3DS controls as well. A little foreign to me still. I hit the close button, didn't I? Yep. Let's check your moveset. No, you just know Fire Fang. Okay, that's... Good to know. Alright. First trainer battle. Who are you? Are you Youngster Joey? Is that your name? Calvin? Nope. Still not Joey. Alright. Our boy Zigzagoon. Oh, I know what we're going to do to catch our first Pokemon. We're definitely going to have to get a Ralts. And that's going to take a while and be very frustrating. But we got to do it. Especially with Mega Evolutions. If we can get a Mega Gardevoir. Or a Gallade. I don't know if you can get the... Whatever Evolution Stone you need in this game. To get Gallade. But... One way or another... We'll definitely catch the first Ralts we see. I'm not going to wait around all day. Just to... I just missed out on some super sick Pokemon that I don't know exists here, but... Let's check the, the this thing. It's just Zigzagoons and Poochianas. And as time goes on, too, I will get more familiar with the interface and the controls and everything, so... I promise you that, at least. Probably toss in our boy Poochiana, but let's be honest. Do we really need to? I I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Let's just... Wormpole's got nothing on us. But I think, yeah, if we can, if we can grab... 
a Ralts and a Talo. That'll probably be good. And if we could beat Roxanne, I think that whole chunk of stuff would be make make up a f good first chunk out of this game. I gotta quickly look up just to just to be safe. Okay, so these are all the caps. Now you're 16, 21. Okay, so they're roughly what I expect them to be. I didn't want to look too much into the teams in case they were different, but first cap is 14. Next cap is 16 instead of 17. I think that's really the only difference. Although for some reason I have this strange feeling that the cap for Watson was 23 or 24, but I think that might just be an emerald. Because emerald, they had all different... All different Pokemon, all different move sets, all different levels. Not entirely different, but enough of a difference that it was distinct in my mind. That was also the, the version I've played most recently for a Nuzlocke, so the Emerald numbers are a little more stuck in my head. In terms of both how many Pokemon each trainer has, as well as the levels, but we'll work through it, I promise. We will work through it, but the, the next big bridge is... How long will it take? I want to see predictions now. Pause the, or not even pause the video because we won't do it for a while, but predictions in chat. I say in chat, you can't chat on this. See, you can see I'm used to this streaming thing, man. Predictions in the comments. How many encounters before we find a Ralts? I'll put it at, it's 5% odds over or under 20. Over or under 20 encounters to get Ralts. And I'll keep track and post because me saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 through 20 while I'm recording, probably not as nice to set, like listen to. Oh, you just want to fight. Okay, cool. Help further my career. That's such a weird thing for a young character in this game to say who's probably just a child like oh yeah me and you fighting these monsters really gonna give me some some career elevation help me move up the pokemon corporate ladder what, what is that even supposed to mean also what trainer at this age is thinking about career advancement who who are you <laughs> maybe it's my fault for being 19 and playing a kid's game but and I look way too deep into stuff now. End up furthering my career? That is true. You are helping, hopefully, further my career. You got it. Is there an item down here? There always is. It's like a potion or something. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm surprised when I know this game so well when I've just played it a ton of times. Oh, is this going to be a recurring thing where you just... You know tell me everything all the time what am i looking at ah that's what i'm looking at beautifly definitely not gonna have one of those on the team it sucks to be honest that's it Time flies when you're with a friend. Time does not fly when we're sitting here talking to you and you're just wasting all the time we could be using to do something else. That, is that it? Can you not catch Ralts here? Also going to have to look that up just to ensure that I don't waste a ton of our collective time, mine as well as your own. Wait, hold, hold on. Oh, that was just a random person. That wasn't Wally. I was like, Wally's fighting the gym already? I thought this man really moved up in the world. Nah. Suit's got a full fit. And then, then flip-flops on. <laughs> Ah, uh, Norman. What are you doing, dog? Also, these are some shiny floors. You see that reflection? Whoever is shining these floors is doing a good job. 
Oh, what's good, Wally? Man's gonna getting shipped off to Verdon Turf Town, where you can't do literally anything. Just doomed to eternal Pokemon contest hell, and that's it. That's all there is in Verdon Turf Town. <laughs> now we get to go catch, go see Wally. Why is Wally like? Never. Why? Why is Wally this? Like that's just Wally. That's it. I'm not gonna do it in the weird way that everyone else wants it to be or whatever, but. Why is that Wally's entire character? All right, show me your shiny. Wally just gets attacked, just brutally attacked by a Pokemon. Nah. <laughs> the way he stands, dude. All right, this seems like a good time for a drink break. So now is your time during the video, if this is still in, grab yourself a water, get hydrated. Curl all the dishes out of your room. All that, you know, how many water cups you got all over the place. You got time. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to follow suit and do the same. But I'm so supposed to. I read that in a book recently. Yep. All right, Wally, you, you got this. I'm waiting for the day that I play through the beginning of this and Wally runs into a shiny. Although I don't know that I'd really enjoy that in the first place because I'd rather just run into the shiny. But I think it'd be funny. And I have to assume that Ralts is now catchable in this area, but I've probably been scammed before, so... Your very own Pokemon. If you learn how to Omega Evolve this, we might actually have a problem. These floors, dude. Whoever, whoever is shining these floors, keep it up. Alright. Oh, yeah, now you have our contact information. That's, yep, perfect. And some online feature that I just feel like isn't going to work. Well, time to not see our dad until the fifth gym. See ya, dude. Although I will say, Norman is probably... Behind Brawly, I'd say the second most difficult gym. And now, I hope that you have your prediction in, because it's just... I'm, oh, actually, I'm going to go grab Pokeballs. But it's time to hunt for Ralts. I believe it's a 5% last I checked. I'm not going to look into it, probably against my better judgment. I can't imagine that... Can't imagine that 25 Pokeballs won't do the job. Now it's out of the way too. You know that one though. Let's just get it. I think we're just going to go for it right now. Roxanne. Roxanne.